All right, y'all. What's good, baby? It's Brocky, man. I'm back. Whiskey and Kicks. Be back in the building again. It's been a little while. Um, took a little bit of a hiatus after that 96 cocktail that I introduced y'all to. If you haven't watched the video for the 96, which is my original cocktail, then go check that out, please. Um, subscribe to the channel. Follow Whiskey and Kicks underscore IG on Instagram and all that good stuff that I usually say at the end, but I'm getting it out of the way in the beginning this time. So today, um, I wanted to create another cocktail for you guys. Um, this is a favorite of mine with a little bit of a twist for me this time. Uh, I'm making a barrel-aged whiskey sour. Um, I usually uh, make a whiskey sour with um, Buffalo Trace. As you can see, my Buffalo Trace is real low. Um, but today I decided to do um, a barrel aged whiskey sour and um, you better believe that I have egg white in it. So like I said, egg white is going into that whiskey sour. Fresh lemon juice. Of course you gotta have that Luxardo cherry in there. Some simple syrup. And today I'm gonna go with Barrel proof Elijah Craig. It's 135.6 proof. Um, it's not a game, baby. This is gonna be a great cocktail. So let's go ahead and start crafting this thing. Put it together here. I got my shaker. And let me see, what does it call for? Two ounces of bourbon whiskey. Uh, let's get that in there, baby. I'm excited about this one for sure. I'm gonna use that glass. Let me see here. Two ounces of the Barrel Age Elijah Craig. This stuff is absolutely delicious. I wouldn't lie to you. I drink it straight too. I drink it neat. 135.6 proof. No ice, baby. But we're gonna do some ice this time, of course, because we have to chill our drink. Let's see here. Um, we have um, one ounce of lemon juice. So let's go ahead and cut that lemon in half here. Squeeze out an ounce of that. See how that goes. Y'all see me do this so many times. This should be just fine. This half right here. I'm gonna squeeze that right into the jigger. Mmm. It's not like uh, fresh lemon juice. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I'm starting to get the hang of this thing, y'all. Yep. I love whiskey sours. Um, one egg white, which is, um, from what I understand, is about one ounce of egg white if you have the liquid like I do. One egg white. I'm gonna get that in there. And we're gonna do, um, this one calls for three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. So I'm gonna follow this recipe the way it is. Three quarters of an ounce. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Give a little sweetness to that thing. And of course, your simple syrup is just, um, well, some people say one to one, and I made one to one. Some people say two to one. It depends on how sweet you want it, I guess. But I do one to one in mine. Um, but this one is just store bought, of course. I got a little bit of that simple syrup on my fingers. Uh, let's see. And what we're gonna do is, we're going to uh, dry shake this. Now, my last, in the 96, I dry shook the egg white by itself, which is not what you're supposed to do. Um, I'm not a bartender though, you know what I mean? I'm just doing this for y'all. So, you're supposed to put all the ingredients together and then dry shake um, everything together before you add the ice. So it kind of um, joins you know, the egg white and all the other ingredients, kind of brings those guys together a little bit. So let's go ahead and shake this up for about 10 seconds. It's called dry shake. There we go. Mm. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and add some ice to this puppy and then um, we're gonna shake it again. All right. Got the ice in here, and we're gonna shake this puppy up one more time. About 10 seconds. Uh-oh, here we go, here we go. 
All right. This is about to be amazing, y'all. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I love whiskey sour. It tastes so good. Um, so I have a coupe glass in the freezer already chilling. Um, so we're going to double strain this thing into the coupe glass. Let me grab that real quick. Ooh, as always, you see that thing? It's beautiful. So double strain because you don't want all the ice, the chip ice from shaking it uh, to get into your cocktail. I don't want that to get in my cocktail either, whatever that was. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful, y'all. Little frothy on top. That egg white. Mm-mm-mm. Look at that. Let's grab that cherry real quick. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. Let me see. We're gonna garnish this. We're gonna get fancy. We're gonna get fancy just for the uh, for for, the, for you guys. Because there's no reason for me to really do this at home, but it looks good, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna grab one of these cherries. I'm gonna garnish this thing the right way. Sit that right on top. And there you have it. That is a barrel aged, a barrel proof whiskey sour. So let me go ahead and get this camera up so I can taste this thing. And y'all can see my reaction. All right, here we go, y'all. We got the uh, barrel aged whiskey sour here. Barrel proof, excuse me, whiskey sour. And let's taste this thing and see what it's all about. Whoa! Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. That is serious, yo. That is, that thing got punched too. The flavor is incredible. My whiskey sours I usually have in like a regular rocks, a rocks glass. This is my first time having it up in a coupe glass. Um, and it's amazing. Um, sometimes I would drop some bitters on top of it maybe. Some black walnut bitters or maybe, maybe Inglestore bitters on top. Um, but I didn't this time and it's fantastic. This is a beautiful cocktail easy to make at home guys I hope you um, explore and try some of these things at home and Let me know what you think about them. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to make at home You just chill and watch football like I'm about to right now and um, But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cocktail over to my little area So I can take some pictures for social media purposes and then I'm gonna drink this cocktail. So y'all be easy, man. Brocky here, Whiskey and Kicks. Again, like I said, Whiskey and Kicks underscore IG. Whiskey and Kicks on Facebook. Whiskey and Kicks uh, at gmail.com. Whiskey and Kicks.com. Um, holla at me. Please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends. Like, comment, all those things. You have criticism. Holla at me. Inbox me. You know what I'm saying? Um, holla at me and, and let me know what you feel. And um, other than that, man, um, be ready for 2019. A lot of good things lining up. Um, and we are, uh, it's about to blast off. So uh, episode 15 of Whiskey and Kicks coming up uh, sometime in early January. Uh, that's Bravo, the French Brasserie over in Old Town Alexandria with a scientist of a bartender, Brett. Um, I hope you guys appreciate that episode, I swear, because that guy was something special. So, be ready, y'all. Other than that, man, I'll see y'all next time, next cocktail, hopefully next Friday, and y'all be good. Whiskey and Kicks.
Yeah.